Mixed job news today. President Biden focusing on the falling unemployment numbers while Republicans point out rising inflation. Chris Polona's details. President Biden accentuating the positive in a mixed December jobs report. The Biden economic plan is working and is getting America back to work, back on its feet. The economy added 199,000 new jobs in December, far short of analyst projections. But wages are up and unemployment dropped again to 3.9%. 3.9% unemployment rate is very, very close to full employment. There are 12 million open jobs. But throughout the pandemic recovery, Republicans have accused the president of being out of touch, ignoring the rising prices, straining Americans' budgets. I refuse to let them stand in the way of this recovery. And now my focus is on keeping this recovery strong and durable, notwithstanding Republican obstructionism. Analysts fear the recovery will slow further as the nation faces the full effect of the Omicron variant surge. I don't believe we've seen a peak yet here in the United States. The president still optimistic the pandemic will end. COVID, as we're dealing with it now, is not here to stay. But the Supreme Court could soon deliver a blow to the president's attempts to mandate vaccines and testing in workplaces. OSHA has not uh, traditionally mandated other vaccines for other hazards that could be pose a grave, grave risk, some might say. The flu kills people every year. In oral arguments Friday, the court's conservative majority appeared skeptical the Biden administration has the power to institute sweeping vaccine and testing mandates. If allowed to go into effect, the two vaccine and testing mandates before the court would affect about 100 million American workers. A decision is expected quickly as one of the orders was set to go into effect this past week. In Washington, Chris Pallone, NBC News. Big news on the injury front for the Bison. Beth has the latest live from Frisco next.